Hey, it's Chris here with Bentley, the Maltese, and we're going to do them in a nice little puppy trim. Uh, first, we're going to do the head, so let's just tighten up and get that done first. All right, and what we're focused on the head this time is we're going to work around the eyes, and I don't like them to have that really skinned look in front of their eyes, so I'm going to use my juice clipper, and I'm going to set it at about a 10 blade, which is in the middle. And I, what I'm doing is I'm just coming straight across from inside corner, the inside corner of the eye. And I'm also going to come and just lightly trim underneath the eye, just in that little pocket. What that's going to do is it's going to clean up any staining that the dog might have there. And that will open up those eyes. Okay. Now, couple other things you want to concentrate as far as when you're working around the eyes is that you want to make sure that you get your eyelashes trimmed up and the best way to do that is to just take your finger and pull that coat away from the eye and just clean that up sometimes I'll even pull it tight pull the skin back tight and come up here so that I can get even closer to that eye um, then in front of the eyes, I like to take my scissors and come down. This would be a good place for your blunt shears, but if you notice, I kept the point way below the eye. And then take your blending shears and clean anything that might be sticking out in front of that eye. Okay, see how I did that? I pushed that coat back, took my blending shear, and just cleaned that coat, blended it so that it gives you that really cute dark round eye. Again, eyelashes need to go. These guys eye stains and all the eyelashes do is collect lint and dust and um, will cause more eye issues. So, alright, that is cleaning up that Maltese round head eyes.